Welcome to Saltmarsh, a small fishing town in the kingdom of Kaoland. The citizens of Saltmarsh are just nice, totally normal, salt of the earth type people. If you're in the mood for libations, head on over to the Snap and Line for some refreshing lobster claw wine. More in the market for new armaments? The Dwarven Anvil can take care of all your plate mail bikini needs. Or, if you want to take out a vicious burrito smuggling gang, then you can hire this ragtag menagerie of adventurers to help you out. So, what happens when an owl, a horse, a turtle, a frog, and an elf walk into a bar? Well, why don't you stick around and find out? Hello, everybody. <laughs> what? As goats, we play as goats. False? This thing like a goat so far. Let's just say that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, Chelsea said no sound now. Uh oh, no, just Galway. Hello. She says just Galway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I just heard myself say Chelsea said no sound Why? now on the screen. She says she can hear everyone else, just not Galway. Oh. Hmm. Can people hear me now? Because but I Chris can is also hear Galway. now also. I have no idea because I can hear all of us on. Yeah, I unmuted stream. Yes, it's working Galway. now. I unmuted stream. You're fine. We got you, Galway. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Galway. Uh, welcome to Helpful Goat. Uh, <laughs> don't <laughs> add more. Oh, actually, go ahead. Week. Just I'm going to just slide <laughs> under the desk and uh, Joel can take over. Um, <laughs> I'm Galway Prime. I. Anywho. It fixed. We are Helpful Goat. Uh, gaming, a small independent game design, game content creation community. Uh, welcome to the beginnings of many of the technical struggles, um, which I'm sure will continue to happen because uh, God is cruel and apparently resentful that we played D and D with uh, Dominic Monahan a long time ago because they've ne the problems that we encountered once we started playing with him have never left. I I've bought a new computer and moved since then. <laughs> it yeah. shouldn't be possible. And it's a different mic. I I don't know. Um, we stream here on twitch.tv slash helpful goat uh, multiple times every week. Wednesdays we have Goats of Saltmarsh, which is DM'd by the wonderful Rachel, who's that side. And I remembered not to look at the Discord this time. Uh, on Thursdays we have Spire starting at 8.30 p.m., uh, which is DM'd by our wonderful friend Elise and features at the moment a group of... Uh, quasi amateur sleuths. Um, I would say hunting a serial killer, but honestly, it's just all gone so fruit shaped that now it's just a sideways fruit salad. Um, which makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, it's great. So definitely check that out. Um, and then on Friday. This week, we will have Goats and Dragons, The Fates of Rin, our long-running level 1 to level 20 adventure, which we're at 14 right now. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, getting... Getting scary. Getting scary. Sorry. Got, got a little creepy last time. So, <laughs> And Rachel has been our guest on that one for a... A few. few episodes and yes thank you chelsea you noticed that yes the text uh, now flickers with lightning um oh yeah uh 
so there is that's our upcoming schedule uh next week we will have that and then i believe on tuesday we are also tuesday of next week on the 13th we will also be having a goat's eye view where i will be interviewing uh, our friend tyler crumrein um who has been running a kickstarter for a really really interesting concept in tabletop rpgs and we'll be talking about designing independent tabletop rpgs the sort of indie rpg scene kickstarter uh, and all of those types of things if you have any questions you could shoot them to us on twitter at helpful goat you can <laughs> pop them in our discord which you can join by using exclamation point discord to get a link um or you can just pop them in the chat if you uh come in and so. hang out all of those are options and all of that will be a good time as i mentioned you can follow us on at helpful goat uh for most of our socials check us out on facebook just look for helpful goat gaming and we have a full archive of what we do i say full i haven't updated it in a while i'll get on that don't at me um uh just look for helpful goat uh gaming you can also get all of these links using exclamation point hg dash info in the chat uh last but not least we have merch now including the wow that is just blown out by my screen the moon tree sticker uh that i have on my water bottle um i also made reference to it earlier uh last week we played andy dm to one shot uh fire blight uh, and there is a special piece of merch in the store for now uh goats and stoats um making tabletop rpgs animal rific since 2021 um which you can check out using exclamation point merch or I definitely bought one <laughs> or uh, the link down below if you're checking us out on youtube last but not least before i turn this over to our wonderful dm um exclamation point donate in the chat uh takes you to a link uh right now that link and for the foreseeable future we often rotate these about monthly um but the link that we switched to in the middle of last month uh is focused on stopping aapi hate um asian american and pacific islander um this followed the mass shooting in georgia and frankly the spate of uh, racist incidents which have not stopped but the media coverage around them certainly has and while there are other important things going on etc again 3,800 incidents last year they're on the rise uh, police frequently publicly make statements that the group of young people who assaulted a 65 year old asian woman walking down the street in i believe los angeles the other day wasn't a hate incident this is the reality for aapi individuals in america and as much as our reach is not the biggest as much as i know that it's not a thing that will reach everyone in america um i want us to keep this particular link up for a little bit because the news has decided to move on to other topics and none of my friends who are in the AI, aapi community get to it's their daily reality none of my friends who are partners with someone in the aapi community or who have children who belong to that community uh, from adoption or etc get to move on it's their fear every day so please we encourage you check out uh, stop aapi hate.org also there's a link in that description or in that uh, command that uh, calls up an article which includes a bunch of organizations and that article itself has links to other local organizations as always we encourage you to reach out to local organizations Donations of time, money, effort, networking, event planning, etc., go a lot farther if you do them locally. And this is also one where find a list of Asian-owned businesses in your community. Consider spending some of your money there. If you were going to have, you know, dinner or if you were going to get lunch, even something as simple as you're, you know, busy and you need to get lunch someplace, consider going to an Asian-owned business to get it instead of wherever you were going to normally. Um, as always, thank you for paying attention. And I should really position this earlier so this isn't your segue, but I'm going to turn it over to you now, Rachel. <laughs>
Every time I'm like, hey, Sorry. everybody, look at my very lagged camera. Oh, do, 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 do. That's really bad. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> At least you're not doing the waves this time. Oh, oh I'm sorry. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'll just remember to laugh uh, regularly while staring straight ahead before I do it, so it creeps Galway Great. out. Um... <laughs> oh, Jeebus. Anyway, uh, I haven't read Chelsea's poem in a while, so I'm going to do it today. Nice. A good one. Insurance, murder, and adventure on the marshy coastline. So many forms to initial and sign. Tantalized by cocoa, silk, jammies, and brandy. The sleepover with Foppish the Lesser was actually quite dandy. Thank you, as always, for the fun about to ensue. Much love, Salt Marsh crew. I can see and hear you. Thank you Yay! Well, Chelsea, you're um, the best. Thank you. Yeah, and I also just like that that really shows the beauty of what happened last time because it was all about insurance form and sleepovers and brandy. <laughs> this is a very serious game that I run here. <laughs> Sometimes we have horse pajamas and it's fine. They are fine. <laughs> Virgil approves. Uh, so let's do some introductions. I said that word really weird. Um, <laughs> Shall I look at camera? Weird and passive on the introductions. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Introductions. Look at your camera. Speak into your microphone. And anyway, I'm Rachel, and I'm the DM, <laughs> and my pronouns are she, her. How about we go to... I'm Andrew. And my pronouns are he, him, his. And that I play... way. Sorry, okay. I just wanted to point to be a part of it. Thank you. <laughs> I, I played... the camera is so delayed. As <laughs> 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 oh, Wolfward. Oh, shambles. At what point did you start pointing? That was something. But anyway, Andy, who do you play? What's going on? Who are you? Tell us Baz, more. Baz Wilford, who is also he, him, his, and I'm going to go that way to Rachel again. Because <laughs> no. she did such a great time passing it off the first time. Okay, I'm going to pass it this time to Lena. Hi, I'm Lena. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm playing Ocean Blue, the sea elf paladin, whose pronouns are also she, her, hers. And I'm going to pass it to Joel. Joel, what do you the correct direction? Yes, it's that direction. Hi, everyone. I'm Joel, he, him, his, playing Dunlum, the turtle cleric, also he, him, his. I'm going to point... Hmm... That way to Monty. Me. I think. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm Monty. I use they them pronouns. I'm gonna be Gunk, the Grung Ranger, who also uses they them or he him pronouns. Pretty sure Galway is the only one left, so I'm gonna point that way off the screen and then go around <laughs> to Galway. Got it, got it. Uh hey everybody, as I mentioned, my name's Galway. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and I am playing Virgil Mondragon, the centaur barbarian whose pronouns are also he, him. It's hey, back it's to you, back to me. I was going to say, that, that's my cat, Calcifer. He doesn't give a shit about pronouns, but do you have <laughs> treats? I know, it's always so weird when people are like, oh, I'm sorry, I called your cat a she, and I'm like, my cat isn't messed up about their pronouns. I, it's fine. <laughs> It's just us. Uh, anyway, it's back to me and I'm ready. Except I'm throwing it back to you. What happened last time? Well, then, okay. So we started off with Spora coming to see me in my dreams. Um, and she seems freaked out by Loth, and that's weird. Um, so then I just ignored, uh, ignored Krell for the rest of the time that we were with Krell. We dropped Krell off on the shore uh, to go to the conversion of Thousand Mandibles, a.k.a. Yeah. 999 Teeth. Yeah. And uh, 
I think Monty has like taken out a not Monty personally gunk sorry <laughs> has taken out a hit on a frog grandpa or something no 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 a hit no, no, was, was taken out of employing gunk yes. <laughs> gunk had nothing to do with that um yeah I I think I am <laughs> supposed to murder an old frog in a lot of toad I believe but yeah oh an old toad you talked to a toad and it was all about insurance fraud and wanting to yeah. inherit okay yeah Wow, okay, last and, time was wild. Okay. And the toad who wanted the insurance fraud committed was named Fred or Fred. Something? Yeah. Fred. Uh, and, and, his and his brother, his brother who had Joe been, was, was already killed. Was already dead. Yeah. Grandpa didn't have a name, but he does have a mansion and like or riches and doesn't lock his door. Yeah. We're not sure what door he has that he doesn't <laughs> lock. I mean, honestly, like, if you had said any of this to Virgil, Virgil would have been like, I feel like just having doors is pretty good security for this uh, toad. For toads. <laughs> I think Gunk's just uh, hoping that Thousand Teeth is just going to kill a whole bunch of toads and, like, maybe his grandpa will be one of them. And <laughs> that's just the sure. way that it's going to work. Sure. No one said no collateral damage, right? It's fine. <laughs> but it has to look like an accident in order to make the insurance work. Exactly. Nothing more accidental than giant crocodile. Yep. So we, we, got got paid. Some, we, we got some silk pajamas and brandy and yep. a shit ton of money. Yeah. Got a lot of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Baz we... got real drunk and flew into a bookcase. And I can then accomplish the lesser that he was cursed by an old woman <laughs> he didn't let into his house um and so he was gonna sleep with mushrooms to fix the curse um and baz was also really sweet and asked the butler to hide a mushroom under um his pillow his bed forever i don't know if that actually panned out i don't have that in my notes and but he, like, the guy was like this is not enough money and he may get killed if foppish the lesser finds the mushroom the butler Maybe. may come to kill baz i remember that's right. If something bad <laughs> happens to him. Yeah, like if he gets fired, he's like, okay, then I'll come me. kill you. That's right. And Pez is like, whoa. Whoa. I also <laughs> offered him a job in case Foppish the Lesser uh, fires he wasn't, him. And he wasn't into it. He was just into the killing you part. Yeah, so that's an odd relationship. So, so ironically, by him <laughs> turning down a job, he's pretty much ensured that I'll have a job forever. <laughs> sure. Oh, and Baz got all vulnerable when he was drunk and actually, like, told Ocean about his friend that he's looking for, who's a lizard folk. I think I missed that part. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened, but my dog freaked out and I had to leave. And I was I so upset that I missed that part. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta remember that. So. It definitely happened. It's in my notes. Everything that's in my notes happened. Pretty sure it didn't happen. Yeah, there was a my lot notes of drama. Canon. Baz. Yeah. Uh, Baz is also still a little drunk or very hungover because he has exhaustion today. Oh, yeah, I think As is Dunlum. To you and Dunlum. <laughs> As is Dunlum. Got a little too happy at the sleepover, which, why did we do that? No, Maybe it's because Baz too happy. wanted to. Yeah, I, I guess it was to watch the box. It was, was all yeah. just notes inside the box, and you yeah. didn't trust him to go to Janine the next day right. yeah, to yeah. get changed over. Into yeah. money, so so, which so I, he offered a sleepover. Which I feel like Virgil was like, no, he definitely wants money. He's been very clear about that. He doesn't get money either unless he makes these money. <laughs> he also so, seems yeah. weak. I'm pretty sure he'll pay us. So uh, yeah. then in the morning, we all went to see Janine, and he did pay us. And then I hung out with her for a really long time. And I'm bringing her mushrooms back for her babies, but it's in three to five business days um, because I have to, I filled out the forms, but I have to, I have to wait for those to be processed. So in three to five business days, I'm coming back to bring her mushrooms for her babies. And I'm very excited about that. Um, and I also am in the process of filling out all the forms to urgently see the council and to ha get her to have someone else trained so that if she goes on leave again, this doesn't happen. Um, and so I filled helping. out lots of forms, and Baz was helping out, forms, and I was yeah. staring at Janine's store because I'm scared. And then of I think for out. that one, she said like seven to ten business days, or for the no, the council was three to five. Also, was it three to five as well? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, I don't day. think she said for the, and I th- I didn't write it down, but I think we determined it was like a, I don't know. I feel like you said it was a Tuesday. Tuesday. Thank you. Sure, I totally wrote it down and remember. Yeah. And it was basically, we were trying to like we were tossing it back and forth, and we ended up on it has to be a Monday or a Tuesday because Janine just came back in. Oh yeah, I think we said it was a Monday. Uh, because, right. Oh, unless it was like a holiday for on a Monday, you know. So like most of these Tuesday. things will be happening this week, which is exciting. Next so I hope we're all prepared to stay in town for the next three to five business days. Runs smoothly. It does, Rachel. Bureaucracy is the best. We could probably do an adventure real quick. Janine is to. back. It the wheels are back on the cart. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. She might already be pregnant again. Fucking hope not. Um <laughs> I don't I she don't think what the other wants. stuff. That's all I have in my notes, but I take really egocentric notes. Uh we did we divvied up the money. Um I think especially if then Baz subsequently went in to help you with it, he probably brought your portion back in. Um, But at that, I think kind of where we left off was the two of you were inside filling out forms and (laughs) the rest of us were outside with uh, more money than most of us had probably seen in our life uh, within our possession. Um, And Virgil probably doing trying to do some mental calculations based on the amount of brandy that he saw Dunlum drink and like his rough size and weight of how much more can the turtle drink before succumbing to alcohol poisoning? It's fine. He just brought some drinks for the road. He's just rolling a cask. (laughs) (laughs) It's possible. Uh, Sweet. So, uh, also, we did start a little late tonight, but I'm not going to run late because I still want to make sure that we honor the, the time that we that we end and stuff for everybody's okay. schedule. So, we're still planning on... No, don't be. It was nice. I hung out with my cats for a bit. Not that I don't hang out with them all the time, but it was extra nice. They were in the sunshine and they were very cute. Um, uh, yeah. So... It is now. Oh wait, I can turn on the ocean town sounds. Yeah. Ocean town sounds. Chelsea said he just put the brandy in his shell and swimming in it. Oh, oh god, he's marinating himself. Oh, gross. <laughs> Turtle soup. Oh, and Virgil. Oh. I'm sorry. And Virgil is still still wearing like pink and teal uh, silk pajamas. <laughs> so cute. I think. Dunlum forgot about the pajamas and is still kind of wearing them. <laughs> so, so he's also wearing pink and teal horse. With like, and it says but, buttercup on it or has a little yep, buttercup has a little on buttercup. it. And... Yep. Yep. Uh yeah. So um it is Monday. And um what are your names? Baz and Ocean are in the offices filling out paperwork for a while. Uh, the rest of you, what would you like to do? Uh, Virgil would probably, like, turn to Dunlum and go, like, so, given that we're now in possession of, let's be honest, a lot of money for us, uh, are there any stores in town that are particularly likely to have magical items? Well, there is the snapping line, which has plenty of refreshments. Um, <laughs> Not He's what he asked. Mm. Mm. You're like, ooh, ooh. Mm. claw wine. Mm. I think uh, it's Joel doesn't even remember the name of it. Give me a second. No, no, you're totally good. There's The place that you've been to before is Winston's store. And he has a good amount of items. Uh, There is also the Dwarven Anvil, the blacksmith. Um, They sometimes get some cool um, blacksmithy shit. Like weapons and armor and things. You know, this is um, professional. Uh, And then, um, I would say Dunlum might know this, depending on how much he was paying attention. But Gunk uh, would know that every uh, Monday there is the weekly market that happens. 
And that's where a lot of like merchants and stuff come around the market square and uh, sell things that they've been either making or gathering or, you know, buying and trading and whatever. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Yes, yes. I will lead everyone directly there. <laughs> Mana, yeah, I know a place. All Very right. Good. It is. I love markets. <laughs> so Vir <laughs> Virgil kind of leans down. I hope that we're able to keep Dunlum from too many of the alcoholic refreshment tents. Yeah, he's a big boy. He can handle it. Do you recall last night? Yeah, vividly. Remember, I'm immune to uh, to poisoning, including alcohol. So. <laughs> oh right, that's why you were the only other one who seemed to be able to like continue focusing on you know fixed points in space. Yeah, I have drunk so many people on the table. It's actually <laughs> fucking hilarious. You'd think they'd learn after the first time, but they don't. I'm not really sure any games of chance or competition with you are an exceptionally good idea overall. It ain't. <laughs> Alright, so I read that. We'll right. just leave it at that. Fair enough. Um. Okay. So you go do the two of you go with Jesus Christ cameras it's so bad sorry eh? Eh? it's still bad anyway um this is what happens because I use my phone I should just get an actual webcam at some point but you know um hi I'm still here uh yeah, you go to the weekly market. <laughs> my brain is really foggy. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. You're great. <laughs> totally uh, fine. I just thought, hi, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there are a bunch of stalls uh, kind of scattered around that do different things. Some are like, you know, like an apothecary type stall. And there's like little trinkets and knickknacks, and there's, uh, um, um, oh, do I have to sneeze? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, the, <laughs> Let's there's... find out together. <laughs> Choose your own adventure, folks. Next, Vote in the next chat time if you want. Vote so in the chat if I sneeze. If you want to see Rachel sneeze. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Redeem those go notes for <laughs> yeah. make the DM sneeze. Uh, Does that violate the Twitch terms of service or something? No. <laughs> You're not sneezy nipples or something. You're fine. Hey, man, you don't know my life. <laughs> you don't know me. I can't tell you what comes out of these. Oh, you got nipples. <laughs> <nipples. laughs> oh, puppy. He's adorable little puppy. Oh, you don't sneeze nipples. Would you just say to my dog? <laughs> it's Andy's fault. It's Andy's fault. It's you, blah. Uh, is it? <laughs> this is my baby. <laughs> I mean, Le me and Lena can just like role play forms if you want for a while. Yeah, do you want that? I'm gonna. Yeah. Be more I, mean, I do. Ocean, this is. But not to start. Line G, but I only see line D. Is, am I missing something? Oh, I don't know. Should we go get Janine? Mm, or... No, Maybe... let's contemplate it a bit longer. We can waste just of, sign everything. Time. It doesn't matter what they say. Oh. You don't have to read contracts. Is that what you're doing? You're just signing everything? Yeah, Janine wouldn't do me wrong. We need to start <gasps> over, Ocean. It's okay. I'm sure our friends aren't having fun. Yeah. Oh, the weekly market full of stalls. <laughs> what? Where, what? Where are you interested in going to? You got food. You got drink. You got apothecary. You got magic trinkets. You got like small weapons and things. Nothing crazy. Uh, and you got, uh, ooh, secret magical items. 
sorry. Is that the name of one of the stairs? <laughs> yeah, it just says, ooh, yeah. magical items. And it's got little waving fingers next to it. Like one of those wacky, wavy, inflatable arms. <laughs> it's just, just like... an illusory, like, silent <laughs> image fingers. doing yeah. that. Virgil's going to, like, see that. Hmm. Well. Hmm. On the surface, it most appears that that shop meets what I was asking for, but I have conflicted feelings about visiting it. It makes me a little uncomfortable somehow. Ooh, Why don't you grab the, the, the weapons sign. first? I feel like the eyes are following me. Ooh, magic items. I don't what's feel what's like eyes? Dunlum's eyes are following me. The fingers are following you. It's just... As they're, as oh god. They're oh god, no. <laughs> Let's get to the weapon stand. Let's go. Run. Run! Before it follows us! <laughs> there is now just a centaur galloping through the market. <laughs> oh, you definitely knock into somebody's cart and uh, just melons go everywhere. My melons! <laughs> My melons! <laughs> My cabbages. Sorry. <laughs> No, I specifically was like, I can't say cabbages, say something yes. else. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought of melons, because I love melons. Anyway. So yeah, um, the weapons stand. Yeah, there's no weapon stand. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, it's a lot of... So you walk up there, and there is a half-orc woman standing and, and, and just leaning against uh, her uh, stall just kind of staring off into the distance uh, hi <laughs> excuse excuse me um <clears throat> Hello there! How you doing? You wanna speak orcish? <laughs> Virgil's just gonna like, sort of like, ram like, the butt of his, one of his spears against the ground. Hey, watch the merchandise! The, the ground? ground? Is your... Well, it's nearby it. What if you rattled it? I hope your weapons can take more than a distant rattle. <laughs> you know, that's a really good point. That was really bad on my part as a salesperson. I appreciate you giving me this growing and learning moment. Good. At that point, Dullum uses thaumaturgy and just makes a small earthquake in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> You just see, like, a couple of daggers just fully fall off and snap in half. Okay. I think I've seen enough. This, these uh, weapons are not for us, I don't oh, think. Those were, those were just the display ones. Those were definitely just display. Look, sweetheart, don't try and con a con artist. No, none of this merchandise is going to be any good. It's a bit of an uphill battle for you at the moment, because, as my friend here mentioned, made of lies. Yeah. Mostly no made blood, of- No blood, just lies. Mostly made of weapons. So, between the two of us, you have very little chance of fooling us when it comes to weapons. So, simple question, do you have any magical weapons for sale that do not snap like candy glass? Uh, give me an intimidation yeah, check. Candy. I know, right? Some rock candy? <laughs> yeah. You feel there's some candy apples around here. I am not charismatic, so this is going to go poorly. You can do it with strength. I think it's dumb that intimidation is just charisma. Uh, so, so if we just your take that. the roll there, it'd be uh, nine. And she'll kind of look around and be like, well, most of my stuff isn't magical. I'm I'm new to crafting, so I'm trying out a few things and I'm still kind of figuring out, you know, the tempering of the metal. And so it's a little bit, but uh, I do have this. 
and she pulls out a uh, a little um uh tube with like a little uh like th that, that she puts up to her mouth and then blows through it oh and it sticks into the the a, a d little dart flies out and sticks into the the stall there it's like i do have this uh blow uh uh blow jesus rachel uh i do have this blow gun i was gonna say uh, that part of the word just don't stop there i couldn't remember yeah. if it was blow dart or blow gun so i just said blow stopped and then i was like that's a bad place to stop just keep going why, why is everyone in this town some form of smuggler <laughs> don't like to hear Oh, God. Like, Salt Marsh was built on smuggling. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna, like, so pretty much everybody who's on the stream or watches it knows and haven't fully announced publicly yet that I'm I'm pregnant. And I'm going to tell you that pregnancy brain is a real thing. Like, it is... I was talking to my sister about it today and I legitimately sometimes just feel like the dumbest ass. Because I'm like, I can't grasp what was i how and so it's just it's really strong tonight i'm not generally this i mean i'm somewhat this but i'm not this bad you know like so yeah <laughs> that just is an excuse for my being uh anyway so yeah the what she is offering you is a plus one blowgun or I don't know what the stats for a blur gun are. <laughs> it is. How dare you, a straw? Get out of here. She doesn't seem the most. I'm not there. I, I liked her <laughs> comment of, I'm figuring out how to temper metal, Virgil. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> that might explain the snapping, like, candy glass. Oh, I would do one candy. Okay, this says it's on this page. His but damage I look... one. And it's just, and it's just telling me plus one weapons. That's not helpful. So it's damage it does one, a damage of it's one. A, it's a plus it one. It does weapon. a damage of one. Plus one weapon. I'm good, thanks. Two. Okay, well I'm still new, so if you wanted to come back next week and see my new wares, then maybe I'll have some stronger steel for you. Let's go get some candy glass. Yeah. Get your candy, candy glass here, candy glass. Six pieces for ten silver. Get your candy glass. Virgil's just going to flip him a gold. Take the six pieces. I'll take the rest of the pieces. going to bite it. The gold will pay for. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It's, it's ten silver to a gold. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, silver, just, silver, silver or dimes. Complicated. Yeah. yeah. Coppers or pennies, silvers or dimes, gold is a dollar using the American system. So I was, so yeah, just like I'm gonna toss him the money I for it and then like a gold, but instead I said ten silver yeah, because it's, okay. yeah. it's ninety nine cents. Yeah. Um but yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll just like toss gunk a piece, toss dunlum a piece. Um maybe go check out the Made with real glass. Cut your teeth on it. Crunch. Oh. I don't got no teeth. I'll be fine. <laughs> I smell it like a frog. <laughs> I just picture gunk tosses in the air. <laughs> Virgil looks up, having flashbacks to the bullywogs biting me. Mm. Does everything bite me? Um. Oh. I guess we'll go to the trinket store that was as. Just a joke. It's not real glass. It's sugar. It's it's sugar. Yay! Anyway, get your sugar candy glass here. All bright, fun colors. Oh, you're leaving. Bye. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna continue moving towards the trinkets <laughs> while next week. <laughs> while keeping a very nervous eye on the silent image, whose like fingers are just still following us. I assume across the market. They're just. And you just hear a slight ooh, ooh as they do it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs>
Salt Marsh is a weird town. It's going to have a weird market. What can I say? I love how, like, the entire premise going into this was like, no, 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 no. It's a small, backwater, very mundane town. So the fact that we were all, like, you know, animal humanoid races was going to be a huge problem. And I'm like, no. Versus just like, no, no, screw you. I, I defy any of you to claim that I'm the weird one here. <laughs> Rachel didn't really want to play backwater racism town. So Thank you. like <laughs> I'm not saying I don't appreciate. <laughs> yeah. It's not really fun for me. Uh we'll just have the one guy who grows. Uh so yeah, you see a trinket stand and it's just a, a little old, like known lady there, and she's kinda just on a cane and just is like, well, hello. hello. Welcome to Magda's Marvelous Marvels. Okay. They're marvelous. Hey, Magda, how you doing? Hey, Gunk. Nice to see you again. You too? You're looking fantastic. I made this one kind of like you. And she uh, reaches back and pulls out. It's a little wooden carving of a frog. And it's like one of those things that on the it's it's a little musical instrument and on the back it's it's uh got those little like steps that go down oh, yeah, and you yeah. run the little uh thing uh on against it and it's like yeah, yeah. it makes cool uh, sounds <laughs> yeah very but it's nice like, it has like, like your little vest kind of carved oh. into the front part like you can totally see it's just like a little <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. And you know I got a beautiful singing voice, so you know, it's very appropriate. Oh, I know. We've 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 missed you down at the choir. Oh, yeah. I'll <laughs> I'll be back real soon. I just got a couple of jobs to finish up. You know, work is important. Yeah. Like well, uh we actually just came back from a job. We got quite a lot of uh a gold. What do you uh what can you you show us, Magda? Well, I've got this. <laughs> she plays the frog again. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'll definitely take that. Definitely. No question. Uh, that is j just uh, five gold pieces. Oh, take take ten. It's oh. beautiful craftsmanship. You are too kind. I know. And uh, then she's going to also say, we've also got these wind chimes that you can just attach to your armor and when the wind blows through it, it makes beautiful music. Oh, that's brilliant. Maybe not best for sneaking, uh, but it's beautiful and I'm sure someone is going to love that a lot. I hope so. And then I've made this and it's just, it's made out of very thin carved wood and it's shaped like a slinky. But it definitely can't, like, slink like a slinky. You know, it's just kind of like... Uh, uh, look, uh, it makes this this little archway, and then if you let go, it bounces back. Wow, that's quite a, a, a toy. Beautiful. Uh, I'm sure lots of kids are going to love that. That's going to be the new craze, Magda, I'm sure. Thanks, Gunk. What kind of- are you interested in any trinkets in particular? I have a lot. I don't need to go through the whole inventory. That would be exhausting, and I'm old. Anything of a magical or enchanted nature? Really my strength? Oh, let me think. And she kind of just, like, face glazes over a bit and just kind of like stares off into space for a bit while she's thinking it's okay this will take a minute just just let her let her process okay is she dead no no this is this is all just part of it she's a little bit of drool just... just starts like cutting at the side of her mouth slower than molasses okay. in winter <laughs> Uh, and then suddenly she snaps back and is staring right in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember now. It's not 
something that I made, but I found it. It's this, and I'm pretty sure it's magical. It it seems like it. And, uh, oh, let me turn to the page, actually. So that I can describe it, because shit is never described on the things. Shit is never described on the things, you know. Okay, so I went to the Dungeon Master's... That's Goats... I literally just turned to that page in my Goats of Salt Marsh book. It's fine. Everything's fine. I know what I'm doing. I'm glad that we've also managed to overwrite the name of this to just be Goats of Salt Marsh. <laughs> right. <laughs> no ghosts here anymore. Just goats. Just goats. Okay. This is... Um... Oh. Uh. Huh. It doesn't tell me the like color and stuff. Uh, you just Nick see out. what? Yeah, I will. Uh, <laughs> I will. Um, <laughs> you see a stone that is like very round and just like a deep crimson red. Ooh. Bloodstone, that's pretty cool. Interesting. I don't know what it does, but I know <laughs> it's magical. It's powerfully magical. I can tell it's part of my innate nature. Don't worry about it. Uh, but it's very, very powerful. I just don't know how. So this is kind of a magical grab bag situation. Is what sure. Saying. Yeah, this is the best part of the, the the weekly festival. You kidding me? The magical crap bag. Everyone loves it. How much for the rock, Magda? This one is a bit pricey. It's a two thousand gold because it's. I'm telling you, it's a, it's why? it's beefy. Wow, that is a lot of gold. Listen, two thousand gunk. You know me. I don't lie. No, I know. I This I is a big you. item. Yeah. I don't know I, why I keep using the term beefy. I don't know either. <laughs> it's all... I've never heard you use the term beefy before. And this was three times in okay? like 35 seconds. I had never Could met you before, so me? I'd never heard it, but so I'm very uncomfortable with how many times it's come up. It just reminds me so much of ground beef, and now I'm hungry, and I would really love a cheeseburger. I could knock it down to 1500 if you bring me a cheeseburger. Beefy for beefy. You know what I'm saying? If that's not Andrew's new name, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> oh, I don't uh, suppose you could uh jesus let us <laughs> i'm really having a hard time i'm having a hard time finding virgil but that's okay because virgil is having a hard time finding himself <laughs> at the moment <laughs> um would is virgil it pregnant be agreeable <laughs> if my friend dunlum looked at the item to perhaps determine what cut of beef this is? <laughs> oh, dear, I think you're confused. This is a stone. It's not actually beef. I know it looks like it, and I've been talking about cheeseburgers, but this is a magic stone. Yes, your, your friend may look at it. That's fine. He looks like a strapping young lad. Dunlum, I don't suppose you could do me the favor of figuring out what the hell this thing is. You you vastly uh, overestimate my abilities. I could go get Baz, maybe. Uh, I mean, they're just by the courthouse. I mean, sure. I'm gonna go get a, a cheeseburger anyway, so sure, I'll be quick. I'll I'll be back in a minute, Magda. Uh, pickles, no pickles. Oh, extra pickles, please. Extra pickles, of course. I should have remembered from last time, and I wink at her and walk out the door to get a. The cheeseburger and Baz. <coughs> so let's go back to Ocean and Baz. How's the um, 
how's i'm sorry if this isn't how you pictured this session going <laughs> oh no just uh, no, no i'm just we trying to enact anymore virgil is just still standing there with his hand sort of up the way it was when he handed the stone to dunlum it's just like i don't don't i don't i don't know dunlum did did i drink did i drink more than you did i don't are we still in foppish the lesser's house is this all some terrible brandy soaked dream <laughs> i've had that happen before <laughs> oh ow i still can't believe i said beefy for beefy <laughs> I also feel like at this point Virgil's final reaction is just to like begin staring into like the middle distance up the way every shopkeeper has. Just like I get it now. <laughs> Bad. And how's your how's your contract fo or form filling work going? Uh, Ocean, you need to initial here and here, and then sign here. Do you have a middle name? What's your middle initial? Um, Ocean. The elves don't have metal names. Oh, they don't. How curious. <laughs> anyway, uh, initial here and here, and then sign yeah. here. I'm already like, I feel like three quarters of the way through the forms because I'm just whipping through these, just signing everything. I've had to redo half of them, but mostly, yes. You're it's totally right. Really good. Yes, sometimes you just wrote Janine gets help. Yeah. Several times. She needs help. They're over. Uh, you are 100% correct. Yes. She should start a union. With herself. Yes. Get better working conditions. Correct. She yes. has all the power. She's the only one who knows how to do her job. If she goes on strike, they're screwed. <laughs> Actually, very true. Yes. She does have a lot more power, probably, than she realizes. I should write that on these forms. I mean, you could addend, you could add to them. With Will that invalidate them? Writing. You think? I'm pretty sure less so than writing out uh, a, a novel on some of the signature lines. Oh. Yes. Okay. Maybe I should just attach a note. Right. I think I think that could be helpful. Sure. Okay. Yes. I'll do that. It's good. good I could go for a cheeseburger. It's I, maybe can't my... leave. I can't stop staring at the store until we fill out all the forms because Janine might disappear. Right. Surely we're halfway through or more. I think so. Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Some of those forms were like this many pages thick. God. <laughs> also, I held my hand up really early so that I knew <laughs> that it would take a while and I didn't want to say this many and have you just look at my face and be like, what does that mean? Oh. You're learning to work around it. It's beautiful. Yay. It's adaptation. <laughs> it's me. Adaptive. Adaptive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will say at this point, uh, though, uh, I almost said Monty. I don't know why I just want to call. <laughs> Monty comes in. Uh, we don't use Monty. Come on. Let's be realistic here. Gunk uh, uh, comes in. Cool. Oh, Gunk. Uh, hey. Are you going to help sign oh. forms? No, absolutely not. How are you guys no. going? Um, We are not halfway done, according to the forms. But Let's they're going. Okay. Real thick boys. I've been signing. Yeah, my name you might my... say beefy. Yeah, you might say <laughs> beefy. Real, real beefy boys. <laughs> I don't know why real that word is cropping up in my vocabulary. I don't normally see yeah, it. Yeah, it's been oh. happening a lot. I think maybe there's some sort of neurovirus going around. Because uh, <laughs> everyone seems to be saying beefy all of a sudden. I don't know why. And it's Ooh. freaking me out. Uh, like you guys want a candy apple? I just have like a bag oh, of candy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I want a candy I was, apple. I was just thinking I was hungry. Yes. So we'll take well, one. Uh, how, many, how many licks do you think it takes to get to the 
center of a candy apple. You don't like candy apples. Yeah, you, One. You, eat you can't bio. lick your way to the center of an apple, Two. I don't think, Baz. Pull this. Oh my god. Three. Takes three. Son of a bitch. That wasn't a lick, Well, we may never know. <laughs> Oh, it was, anyway. It was two bites and, or two licks and a bite. <laughs> Have I completely anyway. alienated our audience by bringing up that old commercial? I remember it, but I, but remember. I, I literally have no idea what you guys told me. It was me about. a Tootsie okay, Roll good. Pop oh, commercial oh in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. And it was a little boy, a little cartoon boy, walks up to a cartoon owl and says, Mr. I don't owl, need to know. how many licks <laughs> does it take to get to we a don't need Tootsie Roll letter of a Tootsie yeah. Pop? And then the owl licks it and three times and then bites it. And then he goes, a three. And <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The best part of all of that was Monty's, I, I, I don't need to know. Monty was like, please <laughs> shut the <laughs> fuck up, Rachel. Oh, my God. Anyway, I don't think you're really bad. getting a picture of it. I'll, I'll find it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I, we think, have... I think that'll help. We, uh, we kind of need your help with something, actually, Baz, if you wouldn't mind. Oh. Baz is helping me with forms. Yeah, and I'm he'll I'll bring him right back. Uh do you want okay. something to eat while we're while we're going? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I think I'm gonna be here for a while. And I can't leave because Janine might disappear. Do you wanna stay, Gunk? Uh and I can go help real quick. You could do some of the forms and Oh, I'm not gonna be any help with the form. I can barely read common. And I can't hold a quill, otherwise it's gonna drip down with the, you know, the poison. It, it's not good. You don't want me oh. to do that. Uh, I but I can't help go with get the forms. food. You're, you didn't know. Yeah, where did you come from? <laughs> oh, Dunlum. Oh, oh, where did you come from? Dunlum smashes oh, through you? the wall <laughs> like the Kool Aid. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> I thought. I thought. We said that we were all going back. Oh no! So you could actually say, I guess Gunk said that that he was going to get um, uh, the burgers and Baz. Baz burgers. Burgers. Baz, Baz. burgers. Beefy Baz burgers. Um. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> um. Well, Gunk, I would, I would like to help, but I, I feel that we need to finish these first. It's gonna take five minutes less. I mean, you need a break anyway, Blue. I, that's true. I cannot take a break, but, but if you bring me food, and it's okay, I've got this. I'm just signing everything. It's all good. <sighs> See, yes, that's why probably I should not leave. Um, we'll be back in five minutes. Let's just. It might I'll, have. I'll, I might. Okay, uh, Ocean, maybe maybe just read through the contracts. Don't sign anything yet or add things. Just sort of get a gist of them. I'll be right back and I'll bring some food for us. Okay, we'll see. Thank Ocean you. Pulls out her pink pen and starts signing everything in the incorrect ink color. <laughs> That's going to invalidate. But we'll fix it. Okay, uh, I will hurry okay. then with Gunk. First, we got to get a, a cheeseburger. You couldn't have done that first? I, I'm on a clock here. It's gonna be cold. If I got it first, it would have been all cold and the cheese would have all congealed. No, you don't get a burger first. You need to get it last so it's nice and warm and soft. Okay. Baz. Sorry. I don't even know who Jeez. this burger is for. I thought it was for you. No, it's not for me. It's for someone very important. Now, let's <laughs> you go. <a> vegetarian? <laughs> or no, you're an insectarian. I'm an insect cemeterium. <laughs> proper name for it? Yes. Okay. I eat everything. I doesn't... won't put you guys through making you role play with a new cheeseburger vendor to get a cheeseburger. I will just say that Gunk knows where to go and yeah. he's cool with the cheeseburger guy. The line and... was really long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you wait in line for 45 minutes. Jeez. And God. no, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to redo so many. Um, it's okay. What are we doing? Where are we going? Point me in the direction. Okay, we're getting a cheeseburger for a nice old lady who's going to help get us, give us a beefy rock, and then you're going to look at the rock and see what it does. Oh. Is that good? That's fine with me, sure. Yeah. I will yeah. say, as you walk up, Virgil is just still staring off into the sky now. Oh, great. <laughs> got Virgil now too. 
Is it contagious? Apparently. Okay. I put my shirt up above my nose, my beak, and like, then I walk You in. suddenly feel inclined to stare up into nothingness. No, I'm just kidding. As you walk up, you're just going to see sort of, without moving his head, Virgil will, like, lower the rock down towards you. Can you tell me anything about this, aside the fact that it's beefy? <laughs> That's a weird word to describe it. Okay. I set it on the ground. And I, it's uh, so true. We have my cheeseburger. I do. I got your whole meal and a sundae. Uh, Ego, oh, Mac. Oh, Gunk, you're the best. Yeah. She just starts like... Hum, 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 hum. Going I'm going to go down. ahead and uh, kneel down, place my uh, pearl of 100 gold pieces right next to it, and then pluck one of my own owl feathers and just sort of balance it on the object uh, and then cast, uh, spend 10 minutes casting the identify. 11 yeah. minutes. This is just a regular rock. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Virgil <laughs> grabs it and just horks it into the ocean. <laughs> that would be such a dick move. <laughs> uh, no, you know that this is an Ayun stone. Uh, oh. And this is an Ayun stone of strength. Oh. Which gives, uh, when you have it, uh, it orbits your head. Oh, can I tell you, if I actually read the full description, it says it's a blue rhomboid, but it's a... defo not a blue rhomboid. Fuck you. It's a big, beefy ball. Yep. Uh... <laughs> it's a big, beefy ball. <laughs> big, beefy ball. It says it in the Dungeon Master's Guide, okay? Big, beefy ball. Um, when you let it, this big, beefy ball orbit your head, um, <laughs> you gain... Plus two strength up to a maximum of 20. Interesting. I don't even... What is it... Is it useful to me? Uh, you perhaps more than anyone. Uh, it's it, it, it's a iron stone of strength. Uh, your, your strength will increase um, to a limit, but it... Uh, yeah, and it will just sort of hover around your head. Um, perhaps making you a bit of a target, but uh, strategy for later. It's interesting. It's quite rare. Ma making me a target. Oh, I just, uh, I personally would go for the person with the floating thing around their head. <laughs> Baz, the first thing I do in most combats is cut someone in half. I kind of have a target painted on me anyway, and I don't think the accessory is really going to increase their thought of, oh shit, we should probably kill the guy who just cut Lenny in half. Indeed. But uh, yes, that's what it does. It's, I'm going to uh, pull out 1,500 gold, put it down. How much for the small wood spiral? Oh, that one's just five gold for my time carving it. I'll put in an extra ten. It looks amusing. <laughs> Thank you. I feel so lucky today. You've bought so much from my shop. What did it do? What did the beefy ball do? Uh, was it magical? Was I right? It was a little magical. Yes, it it, it can boost a person a bit uh, if they're feeling bad. How much did you pay for it? Fifteen hundred gold. What else was I going to use money for? Touche, I suppose. Um, here here is my thirty gold, by the way, for you, uh, for the for the week, for the next couple Thank weeks. You. I forget, month. Whatever the distance. <laughs> Listed as very rare. Was that too expensive? I told you I don't know how to do money. No, I mean, no. You, that's fine. <laughs> Baz is just like, why would you want to be stronger? That's weird. Anyway. I, was gonna say, um, I think that was more of an in-character weight. How much did yeah. you just pay for that? Do oh, you know how much okay. ink that could have bought? Oh, that's fair. fair and fair, Virgil's fair. like, why do I want much? I make very small lists. It's not... Mm -hmm. 
Well, uh, if you're shopping and you happen to come across a, a little blow dart that's about the size of a straw or something, that would be cool. But other than that, uh, I better get the, back. To the, the very... No, we ain't seen nothing like that. Don't worry. Yeah. I better get back to the ocean then. <laughs> Poor Virgil's just like, all right. I feel like I've seen that around. Nope. Oh, uh, not ringing any bells. And let's take our break there. <laughs> After our fun <laughs> cheeseburger adventure. I, I will say that as like Baz sort of walks away again, having presumably explained to Virgil how it works, Virgil is again going to like use the action to sort of toss it into the air. So it is now orbiting his head. Stare off into the sky again. <laughs> Beefy. You're becoming your own planet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a solar system now. All right, everybody, we will be back in just a few minutes, uh, probably about uh, 15 or so. Uh, so right around 9 p.m. Mountain Time. Yeah. Uh, hang in there, as Andy would say, manage your fluids. Please. Sorry, do. I said it now. Um, and we'll be back soon.
Hello, everyone. <laughs> Ring finger. Okay. Wow, that was some middle school pranking there. Who? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, hi, we're back. <laughs> And we just had some great market time with beefiness and strength stones and cheeseburgers. You were here. You remember. Um, yeah, so there's still um, uh, the apothecary stall that you uh, haven't been to. Excellent. And Baz, do you uh, head back? Yes, right away. Ocean, what have you been doing since Baz has left? <laughs> no, no. Care to ask. How's it been going? You're, you're, oh, muted. you're muted. You're still muted. <laughs> there you go. I've been signing Hi. forms like I'm supposed to. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds good. Exactly correctly. <laughs> Me. An intelligence check. <laughs> No. You got this. You got this. 18. Ten. All right. Forms like you are supposed to be. With the correct color ink, you've been initialing where you're supposed to initial. You listen, you hear Baz in your head saying, don't just write Janine, Janine, Janine. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And Baz comes back to and to look over the uh, contracts that you've signed, and they are all where how they should be. Uh, Ocean, this is excellent. Uh, I told you I could do this. Of course, uh, it's just the bureaucracy. Sometimes it's so hard, um, but these are these are wonderful, excellent. I'm gonna get Janine so many mushrooms for her cats. You are. It's gonna <laughs> be great. Well, back to it. <laughs> Line okay. E added to line F. There's no number in line F. How do you add words? Fuck it. <sighs> Literally what IRS forms are like. <laughs> yeah, these are all like the worst kind of just forms where you just are like, wait, how is this? Where am I supposed to? I don't know if they, is this a dependent? I don't, yeah. Why is this referencing a schedule that they didn't give? <laughs> the hell? Uh, so back at the market, uh, you see a, a apothecary stand, and there is a normal man standing there. He's uh, just got, you know, kind of khaki slacks, and they're pleated, you know, and he's got a polo shirt tucked in, um, and just a big see smile on his off. face. Some glasses. <laughs> Do you <need> socks? <laughs> What's his name? Norm Allman? No, he's a normal no. man. He's a normal man. Oh, he is a normal man. We don't yeah. know him. Okay, fine. Sorry. He's a normal man. Um, Do you walk over to his booth? Hey, Someone Tom, kind of... how you going? Yeah, I thought oh. I was going gonna to whisper to, to Virgil, think they have any potions over there? <laughs> or Easy. just herbs? Beefy. <laughs> oh, God, so Hello, Gunk. It's so nice to see you. Oh God, is he? A... You too, what? Tom. How you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. That's how great. are you? Fantastic. Uh, you're just as creepy as I remember. So, uh, what do you, uh, <laughs> what do you got in stock for us today? I'm just normal human man, Tom Smith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, who are your friends, Gug? Well, you know Dunlum, obviously. Uh, oh, yes, we've met a few times, the drunken sailor turtle. Yes, exactly, that's what he's famous for. Uh, and this is Virgil. Wow, extra beefy boy here. Pretty much. Yep. Well, would you like to look at my wares? I have many potions. We'd love to, Tom. Great. 
What are you interested in? I legitimately don't know what we want from... <laughs> I have one potion of healing. Also, can I just say that Tom's voice is like... For fans of the game Mass Effect, hitting like directly between Elcor and Hanar for me. Because it's that really uh, full... that's what it is. It's that real flatness of Elcor, but every time she's saying it, I'm just picturing like, this one's face name is Tom Smith. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. It creeps the shit out of me. It's really scary. It's like one of those... Your those normal cults. NPC turned into scary. How do you feel? I know. <laughs> I told Joel over break that I was going to make a totally normal NPC, and this is what comes out! <laughs> you know that totally normal doesn't imply 100% on the norm core bar, right? Rachel, do you actually know what normal is? <laughs> you, that's a great question. Oh god, we've now seen what normal projected from Rachel is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My name uh, is Tom Smith. I have <laughs> many emotions, like spicy food and... Monty, hoot hoot. If they have any scrolls, that'd be cool. Hoot hoot. I sell potions, like in bottles. Oh, that's it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have, of course, some healing potions. I've got this oil here, it's pretty slippery. I've got a couple of different strength potions, if you would like to be a frost giant strength. Or a hill giant strength. Ooh. Sounds nice. Beefy potions. <laughs> yeah, beefy <laughs> potions. Potions of various beefiness. Uh, what's the, the slippery one? Tom? That's a good question, Gunk. Here, I'll let you look at it. And he hands you like a vial of oil. And uh, this is the oil of slipperiness. Which, uh, it's, it's a, a sticky black, oh, how do you say, unguent? Yeah. Sticky. Uh, yeah, seems opposite. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's a sticky black unguent. I didn't write this one, okay? And I'm just going to say, if I read all of the details on all of the items that I'm offering you, we wouldn't have had all of that beautiful, beefy glory. So, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, if you can cover a medium or smaller creature, um, along with the equipment it's wearing and carrying, um, and applying it takes 10 minutes, and it effectively gives you the freedom of movement spell for 8 hours. Wow! Or, if you put it on the ground, it gives that the grease spell effect on that area of ground for eight hours. Oh, I like that a lot, Tom. This is a, this is quite a potion. That would also make it flammable. Thanks, Skunk. I was thinking about slippery people getting away when I made it. Well, it sounds like it's my, my kind of potion. Uh, how much are you, you asking for this one? This one? Is about 250 gold. 250 gold. Okay, tell you what, you you throw in a, a potion of healing in that and you got a deal. Make a persuasion check. Says normal man. <laughs> normal man says, persuade me, gunk. Roll your mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, critical success. <laughs> uh, wow. You know, my when... charisma is super low. I don't know how I keep creating on charisma check. Uh, Gunk, you're such a great customer that of course I will give you this healing potion. And he hands you a superior healing potion along with it. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Tom. You're uh, you quite a guy. You know that. Good roll, Thanks. good roll. Make sure to tell that to my wife the next time you see her. Oh, I absolutely will. Your wife is still alive? I heard she hasn't been seen in months. I mean, that's the hope, Gunk. We have nothing in this life but hope, right? 
true. Don't Are... worry, we'll we'll find her one day. But um. But do you? Do you have hope? There's always hope. Always I guess hope. my question was an indirect way of asking, are you actually alive? <laughs> I've never felt more alive in my life than when thinking about my wife. Hey, that rhymed. Okay. Gunk, I'm not, I'm not scared. <laughs> so I'm not scared of the waving fingers anymore. They seem a comfort You now. guys, uh... <laughs> Want any? Oh yes, <laughs> any, I have uh, potions, potions of many giants. Does Dunlum see any potions that look moldy or like smell disgusting? Uh, give me a perception check. Sure. Which are you at disadvantage, or is that only for second I... exhaustion? No, I'm still no. at, yeah, I'm just disadvantage. I can help check. you if you s are looking for something specific to at least undo the disadvantage. Under. Okay, you can roll a straight roll. Then a low roll. Well, if you're not disadvantaged, though, it's 19. It's 19, yeah, because uh, yeah. Virgil was helping you. I'm, like, moving um, stuff for you. <laughs> what was that potion called? The Persian oil of potion. slipperiness. Oil of slipperiness. I'm just picturing it having to, like, hover above Gunk's skin by, like, half, like, an inch, just to avoid getting mired in the stickiness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, so you actually kind of are sniffing around and looking, and Tom is just like, What are you looking for there, Dunlum? Uh oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, God. <laughs> just kind of slowly turns around. Um, do you have any potions that aren't red? Yes, we have this lovely bright green potion right here. And he pulls one out. And he says, this one is what's called a potion of gaseous form. And basically, when you drink this potion, you gain the effect of the gaseous form spell for one hour. No concentration required. Whoa! Tom, these so are some damn good Potions. Yes, I've learned so much since all of my free time has come back to me since Cheryl is gone. Y yeah. <laughs> I've needed things to fill the time. Potions help. And it's actually like a like a bright green fog that moves, but he tells you when you pour it out, it'll actually look like water. Interesting. This one's 500 gold. Hmm. How much for the various levels of beefiness, Ocean? I almost hesitate to ask because drawing your direct <coughs> attention feels threatening. <laughs> <laughs> and he He's smiles. In the eye. And he doesn't turn his body. He turns his whole head. Oh, jeez. <laughs> to look at you. <laughs> he just says, that's a great question, Virgil. I have quite a few beefy potions, as you say. Oh, good. I forgot he knows <laughs> he, my name. Yeah, how does he know your name? Oh, I thought that Gunk introduced you. Gunk introduced <laughs> I'm so You're glad like, you know my name, Tom. Me too. I think we'll be fast friends. Friends for a long I time. I think I'm fast, and that makes the, the friends part less likely. <laughs> I'm faster than I look. Each of these potions is 500 gold as well. They're very difficult to make. I had to actually have some giant parts to distill. And giants are hard to, to kill, Virgil. I'm aware, uh... But I'm dedicated to my craft. Hey, Dunlum, uh, you getting that potion or what? Oh, uh... Tom, look at him, look at him, look oh, at him! Sure. And Tom turns his head, like, fully sideways to look at Dunlum. 
Yes. Your delay made that so much better. <laughs> There's no very long pause before you even moved. Nice. All right, and Dunlum slaps down 500 gold. Okay, you have a potion of gaseous form. I might come back after we check some other you know what the other the the creepy finger thing just looks really friendly and inviting right now we should go that way did you want the giant potions uh going to check a couple of other things might be back and then i have many healing potions if you would like i'm more focused on preventative healing oh that sounds very zen of you yeah Yeah. Okay. So then, um... Is it safe to come out again? <laughs> As Andy recedes into his shell... Tom starts following you. Where are we going? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh... <laughs> um... He's the new Oceanus. Uh, no, so we constantly Tom's lost Oceanus. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, right. Tom's been taken it's, over. It would just appear at random sort of points. Monster. Yeah, I was like, are, are, are we aware of like synths in this? <laughs> Do we need to um, Turing test him? So let's go back to Baz and Ocean, and I would say that they've spent a good chunk of the day here, and you feel pretty confident that you have finished your forms. Look at that, Ocean. A job well done. We did it. Thank you so much for your help, Baz. Of I'm course. so excited for three to five business days from now. Me too. Sounds fun. Do you want to do you want to go shopping a bit or get it something to eat? I don't know if I need... I guess I could get magic weapons. I have my plate armor. It's all I needed in my life, but... Magic weapons might be good. Yeah, we can go shopping and get some food. Is that what everyone else has been doing, shopping? I think so, yes. They had me look at a stone that made someone stronger. Um... That's fun. Where did they buy that? Did that place have magic weapons? I don't know. We can just sort of go into the market and see whatever there is to see. Start over a whole description about what's there and what each shop has for us. What do you think? That sounds great. Right. Let's make our DM repeat everything she did tonight. She totally remembers all the names and voices. <laughs> Uh, as you guys are starting to leave, the dwarf at the front is like, uh, do you want to turn in those, uh, those forms, or? Yes, here are the forms. Take the stack and say, okay, so I'll hand these over to Janine, and then she'll go over them and turn them into the council, and, and then uh, they'll contact you for an appointment in three to five business days. That's so great. Um, there were two other types of forms on there also that didn't involve the council. Oh, right. I don't really know about those. That's Janine's, but she'll start throwing them. Okay. Okay, great. I'm so glad. I'll be back in three to five business days. I bet you will. I will. <laughs> okay, and then you guys uh, head off. So yeah, you can, do you want to go to the maybe, market or do you want to go to stores? Maybe we had hit a store that hasn't been hit yet. But I will also say, if you walk towards the market, you'll you'll see Virgil going. This is a cursed place. <laughs> this well, is a cursed place. One that would be likely to have magic weapons. Magic weapons. I was going to say magic mushrooms. Magic weapons. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Monty was like, "Yeah, let's go to the market. They're so fun." And I'm just like, "I'll give you fun." Uh, <laughs> Normal fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun for everybody. I'm going to um, kneecap you, Tom. Yeah, maybe the, uh, do we think the, the normal goods store might have, uh, their shipment of, uh, of, some magic uh, items, perhaps? 
um, you think that, um, uh, yes, you do think that. Perhaps we go there first? <clears throat> yes, that is Winston's yes. store. He's the whispery one. The whispery, the, gruff one. It's the car car carnivore atheist. So I'm like especially Perfect. looking for a magic warhammer, but I would use anything basically. Okay. Um. Yeah. Hold on one second. I had a thing up and then I put a thing back. Um. Wow. Uh. Okay. So you walk in there and you see Winston. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome back to the shop. I don't think I've been here before. I was talking to the owl, Baz. Uh, yes. Hello. He's a regular. I'm he really definitely... loves ink. I do ink and parchment and say, Winston, do you happen to have any magical scrolls? Or, or magic weapons. Or magic weapons or some books on magic or... I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for, Winston? Guide me. <laughs> By the way, we have a lot of coin to spend. Just so oh, you know. No, we're broke. We have a lot of coin. We're very poor. 4,000 gold pieces. No, we don't have that. This we isn't how negotiated works. No? Sorry. <laughs> Ow. Uh, okay, he's gonna say, well, I have two scrolls that I've been able to come across right now. Don't say. One is a scroll of fairy fire. Fairy fire, yes. And the other is a scroll of locate object. Oh, interesting. I don't care about either of those things. Do you have any weapons that are magical? I do. I don't generally carry really big large i guess i already said big i don't really need to say large again um okay. weapons um let me see what i can find okay and he cool. goes he goes back to his storeroom uh for a little bit quick baz copy down the scrolls while he's not looking ah oh, it would take me a lot longer i think sorry um, good idea though i love the initiative <laughs> Uh, if only Gunk were here. Uh, and he comes back out with... Oh, let me actually turn to the page. You dinglehopper. Um, okay. So he says, I actually just recently found this and I don't I don't necessarily know how it works yeah what is it it's a sword but it's not really a sword I don't know what that means but I like swords hey uh Baz I could give you a bit of a discount on some things if you could maybe identify this for me uh, I don't mind that at all. I would be happy. Um, yes, 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 yes. Um, I'll even supply the materials for the Identify spell this time. No need. I have it. I'm good. I take well, out... Well, then I won't. I just... It works best with my own feathers. Take it out. I'll put the sword of the ground. I'll I, kneel I down. I meant the thing that cost you money, but it's fine, sure. Put the pearl next to it. Uh, take one of my own feathers. Uh, I can't do this that often. I'll be bald. <laughs> Well, I put it on the sword, and then I cast Identify on it. Uh, okay. Uh, Ocean, do you any do anything while he's identifying this blade Does for ten minutes? Take eleven minutes. Just stare eagerly <laughs> and wait. Winston's just kind of, after like three minutes, he's gonna kind of just go back into his storeroom for a while. Because he's just like, well... He's hit his limit with people for this interaction. Bye! I'm getting um, there. It's almost. I feel it. It's a sword. But is it? Uh, 
<laughs> uh, so this is, um, uh, Baz, you discovered that this is a sun blade. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. oh. I love that sword. <laughs> um, so it is appears to be just the hilt of a long sword, but when you grasp the hilt, you can use a bonus action to cause a blade of pure radiance to spring into existence. Uh, and while the blade exists, this magic longsword has the finesse property. If you are proficient in short swords or long swords, you can use this blade proficiently. It is a plus two weapon to attack and damage. And uh, with you hit, when you hit an undead with it, that target takes an extra 1d8 radiant damage. Exciting. And it also mm. sheds a 15 foot uh, radius of light. Um, or 30 feet, because 15 foot and then 15 dim. Um, and uh, all around it. So yeah, it's like a sun lightsaber. How much does Winston want for it? Well, Winston doesn't yet know what it is. You should tell him it's something really bad. Uh, I, that would be lying. Yeah, but it would be lying in service of a greater good, because I'm trying okay. to save the world. Right, yes, it's true. It certainly it would do better in your hands than sitting on the shelf here. Yeah. And who else in this town could afford such a thing? No one, that's who. Yeah, exactly. I just looked over to check my um, alignment. <laughs> not the line of my alignment, whatever. Alignment's uh, changed, it's fine. Uh, okay, uh, here's what this is. Here's exactly what it does. Before he comes in, maybe you explain to him what it is. Um, that way, I'm not lying, and you would be much better at it anyway, I'm sure. Yeah, because I'm a paladin. We're very good I'm also at still a bit drunk. How? I don't know. It was the brandy. It's It could intense. be more hungover. You don't have to be that. <laughs> it's, it's your choice. <laughs> Whatever I am, I'm I have disadvantage on everything, so Oh dear, yeah, I can do it. If you just do it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean I can nod. I'll stand behind you and just nod. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. If the DM makes me roll for that, that's mean and scary. But <laughs> I get it. Um yeah, so yeah, I think we'll just wait for uh, Winston, friend. Um, yeah, what's your alignment? Lawful good. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's... <laughs> yeah, you know that that's going to be changing to like chaotic something, <laughs> which is how Lena always plays her characters. <laughs> chaotic something. That's the best of yeah, there you go. Chaotic something. Oh, I would totally have a shirt that said chaotic something. <laughs> I would 100% wear that. Wonder was in uh, here's a picture of the sun blade. Jeez, I it's it. so good. It's a fucking lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, I'm just randomly rolling these things, and, you know, you don't always get a whole lot of options to shop for cool items. And also true. This but... doesn't always give you cool items. So I was like, fuck it. Let's get and some I will cool say, shit. Nice. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to afford this, I don't think, otherwise. I think this is your best bet, is to lie about what it is. Oh, but don't anyway. worry, Rachel doesn't know how to price things. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's also fair. <laughs> Maybe it's 600 gold. But... <laughs> hey, okay, Winston. so Winston comes out and he's like, so, what is it? I so... have uh, done my magic and uh, found out exactly what it is, and I've, I've told... A friend here all about it. I'm just gonna go over here and look at some of these books. It's it's a sword of mushroom rotting. So if you touch something with it, then those things rot and grow mushrooms. But you have to know the magic word. So actually it's probably not very useful. I know That's it sounds really useful if it can make mushrooms. That's really interesting. Do, do you mind just giving me a tap with it? Just right here on my chest. I don't uh, know the magic word, but yeah, it just won't try do anything. It. See okay. what happens. Totally, I'm going to tap him with the sun blade. He's not undead, right? No, and it's not out. Anyway. Yeah, it's not out. I think it's out. Out. <laughs> As he <laughs> put up the hilt and activates, activates the blade. <laughs> and Baz goes, oh, right <laughs> The word that you say is the one that actually activates the blade. <laughs> just the hilt. Just I realize I should have done this with Virgil. Oh, God. <laughs> But I would still like to purchase it and take it off your hands for you. 
so as she gives a tap, I just kind of, oh, that's odd. Uh, and I pull out the mushroom that I keep in my vest pocket. Wow. I'm going to That is something. Okay, so because Shit, I got too involved, that, didn't I? <laughs> you are definitely going to need to roll me a deception check as well. Can I? I, I, I no, 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 because Damn it. yours and, and hers are very different. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't not I do it. Would have, I actually was going to give her disadvantage because of how weird you were acting, but now I'm going to make you both roll for okay. it straight. So straight, I got a 17. So okay. good, Baz. That's good. That's real good. That's real good. Let's see. 11. 11. Awful. Why are you acting so weird, Bez? You You're not even looking me in the eye. Listen, do you know Fuppish the Lesser? Yeah. I don't. That's a ridiculous name. Sorry, what was his name? Ocean? I don't know that. I don't write in my notes. Oh. It was Aubrick. Aubrick, the merchant. The oh. former merchant. The old merchant. Yes. From old money. He's well, we had a, 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 a we had a bit of a uh, what's what's a British word for party last night? We had a bit of a banger last night. Sausage. That's a sausage. <laughs> okay, well, we had a, had a we had a, a bit of a street a, a river hey. last night. Um, bit of a ride down the river. They say uh, last night had a Who bit too much. That? Uh, that's what they say. Had a bit <laughs> too much to drink. Me and my friends. Ah, oh, and I'm just, I just, I don't feel right in the head today, which is not a lie. I will say you can make a persuasion check with that. And while he does okay. that, thanks, that, thanks. Him, <laughs> thanks for the reset, Corey. 14! Doesn't 14, all right. I'll take that. Galway, you can say what you were going to say. Sorry, and while, while that roll's going on, thanks for the reset, Corey. <laughs> hey, thanks. Um, wow. Go Andy just rolled doubles on his thing, so it wouldn't matter if he had anything. 14. Okay, he's gonna kind of squint. I feel like he trusts you, but That's this no. is That's kind sad. of going to mess with that trust a bit. He's wary of you now. Okay, okay. fair enough. Well, that still, I mean... I can't sell it for less than what I got it for. Sure, how much did you get it for? Well, I got it at the scrap place for a thousand gold. I mean, that's a lot of sorry, money, sorry. but I know sorry, you're trying to sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> sorry, what were you saying? Yes. <clears throat> that's a lot of money, but I know you're a friend of Baz, so... So it could do you for 900. I... You want me to take you're, a you, 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 you you're want haggling me to take a lot? the best price ever. On this, I mean, I feel like actually I could just keep it and melt it down for scrap metal and it would give me more. Sure, 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 yes. We yes. can do a thousand to help you out this time. <laughs> oh. It's borderline. <laughs> okay. Does awesome. Rachel so want to right make now. me roll again? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yes, and your name again was... Ocean. <laughs> like, let me just talk to the cat first. <laughs> I'm Ocean Blue. Ocean. Okay. Well... I appreciate your taking this off my hands. Yeah, of course. You know, a friend of Baz is a friend of mine. I had thought the same. And he'll hand, hold out his hand for the thousand gold. <laughs> I'll give it to him. <sighs> now I feel gross inside. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so fucking bad at haggling and shit. Uh, it, would, it would, it would, uh, you know what? I don't need anything today. That, I, that identifies on the house. And in fact, I, I have a bit of time. If you need anything else identified, I, I wouldn't mind taking a look at it for you. Be, that'd be awful nice of you, Baz. Just sure. come back with me into the storeroom. I would uh, love to. 
And so he'll go back there and just set you up with like a bunch of random shit to identify for him. Excellent. You, you know, Do I I'll give... have a sunblade. <laughs> you now have a sunblade. You have a sunblade and a wizard <laughs> who has disappeared into a storeroom <laughs> and ain't coming back for an hour plus if there's a bunch of items and it's the identify spell as a ritual. Yep. Uh, that's Listen, the rest Ocean. of your day, Beth. <laughs> Ocean, I'm going to be here just a bit. If you don't mind, maybe finding some flouters for me later or something. We'll meet in the tavern. It'll be great. Okay, I'll go get you food. It that's might be tough. mushrooms. Great. Look forward to it. I'm so glad. Um, I'll start casting identify. Do I see anything good in this lot? Oh, no. No, huh? no. It's not Definitely even magical not. stuff. It's just no. It's magical stuff, but it's like really dinky magical stuff. Like it's a plus one of stone throwing, and oh. like a dart that always, you know, hits a bullseye, which actually I guess is cool. But oh, uh, wait a second, also... that coupled with the blowgun might actually be <laughs> legit. <laughs> But it only hits an actual bullseye, so you have to like have a bullseye. Oh, you have to draw a bullseye on someone, and then I see, I see. Um, well, that's. Mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. But look, think about how much hustling you can do with that. You can. Okay, you're so get good at it now. Super really? drunk. You can get so drunk, and they'll be like, "Like, bet I can make this. I bet you a hundred gold," and like throw it, throw a different dot like to the side. It's like, oh, I'll do it again, and. That is Get pretty cool. Life. What else? That's good hustle. <laughs> now I really am curious what else there is here. <laughs> oh, so give me two more. Just two wasn't more. Wasn't that a stance ability? <laughs> just two more <laughs> weird ones. I just love it. Just, I have come up with so much I, random shit you, off the top of my fucking head this game. 100% have. It is not fair that I ask of it. Uh, okay. Right. One is a carved wooden hand. Okay. That, um... Uh, the magic thing that it does is whenever you high five it, it slowly curls into a thumbs up. <laughs> and it, that's, it. Funny. <laughs> that's pretty funny. And then another one is um little like chains of jewels that yes. you can braid into your beard. Oh, and okay. it yeah. makes them look like they're uh, like your beard is rainbow colors and glittering that... and like shimmering and moving. I want that in real life to put in Galway's <laughs> beard. So cool. <laughs> Galway's beard, <laughs> not like your own hair, just straight up Galway's beard. Okay. Um, yeah. Somehow it, it knows beard hair, and that's all it works with. That's wild. Uh, Winston, if you don't mind, I, I, I'll, I'll let him know all of these what they are. Um, I might even I might even take the hand and the jewels off of you, if. I uh, mean, well, what actually, do you I mean don't... by take them? Do you mean pay me money for my services? Oh, absolutely, of course. Yes, yes, yes. You you are a fine, upstanding merchant in town. I wouldn't want to deceive you at all. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you want the hand and the beard jewels? Um, and the dart, yeah. <laughs> I want them all. Get the dart. I do, I do, I want them you all. You don't want the plus one of st uh, stone throwing? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is the dart made of stone? <laughs> it is not. Use them. Oh, okay. It's only for throwing this stone. Oh, okay. When you throw this so wait, stone, you get, you get a plus, a plus one. one. It's a magical it's, stone. It's a plus one bad, magic actually. stone when thrown. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, I mean, yeah, actually. Okay, for all of these, um, I mean, they're not really useful in battle or anything, so I'd say... Not quite. 250 gold for the lot of them? You know what? Uh, excellent. I, I I love doing business with you. I, I, I love helping you out. Uh... And I'll I'll pay full price, no discount whatsoever. Okay, so six thousand gold. That's uh, uh, well, <laughs> no, Winston, you're fooling with me, aren't you? Oh, I love it. Okay, I knocked off a hundred for your help. So how about you give me three hundred fifty? You know what? Excellent. That I love it. I love it. 
Um, yeah, so that's the rest of your day because that those all that took, took a, a while, really yeah. long time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, um, yeah. So then, what do we have last? We have fucking ooh magical items, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we still need armor and weapons, and I want to have a look for some clothes. Yeah, I was going to say, probably the magic items, and then we might meet up with... I don't know if... I think Ocean was looking... Well, I guess Ocean bought a weapon. So, but Virgil would probably have hit up the armor before deciding whether he wanted to get the <sighs> potions of beefy. Yeah. Potions of beefy. Um, oh okay. Gosh. So... Um, you walk up to... Ooh, magic items. And... Um, what once was terrifying is now a comfort. At least this you one just, displays the weird. You just see a little sign that's, that's propped up on the thing, and it just says, uh, sold out for the day. Aww. Gunk, do you have anything combustible in your pack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the fact that Gunk's like, I don't like where this conversation is headed, <laughs> but I'm going to answer you honestly. Yeah, I do. <sighs> so then you can, uh, that's pretty much it for the, the market part. But you know that in town there is, the blacksmith has weapons and armor yeah. and, and things like that. Yeah, well, we may as well go to the blacksmith. And not set this person's stall on fire. Uh, I know, buddy. I know. I mean, you can if you want to. No, no. <laughs> what do I roll for this? <laughs> <laughs> As you walk away from the stall, you just feel like little fingers against your little horse yeah. ankles. I can make those mine if I want to. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, okay. Sorry, my tummy hurts. Okay. <laughs> Too much stress of creating things and laughing. I'm sorry. They were uh, so no, good no. though. He did awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I was just like, ah, think of things that are magical <laughs> but dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw this fucking staff here that just has a hand on the end of it. And so I was like, oh, that's my five bolt. Wait a second. <laughs> yep. Okay. So yeah, you go to what the fucks? The Dwarven Anvil? Yeah, that one. That's actually a place. Yeah, the Dwarven Anvil. With a shot to the step in line. Relatively sane. Yeah. <laughs> and like doesn't just Talk to us about the wife who may or may not have existed and oh, may or may not have killed. She existed. She's just dead now. Okay, but but you see how that's concerning. When is he still alive? I I don't understand. That's Nobody another... really knows with Tom. He's he's always been a little weird, but he's yeah, he's definitely weirder since his his wife went missing for sure. Oh yeah, Tom's wife. It's it's tragic that she's been that she's been missing. This Said is Mafira. Oh, I was like, you, ah! <laughs> you hear it whispered on the wind in your ears. <laughs> yeah, it's real sad. She was a real nice lady. She was kind of weird too, but in 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 a eccentric, nice kind of way, as opposed to that way. Yeah, definitely, okay. as opposed to the other way anyway, that Tom is now. Hi, uh, really good job with the silvering. Uh, cut several things entirely in half. Oh, fantastic. I love to hear that. Uh, anything else that can do similar things <clears throat> magically? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I've made a few things uh recently but only a few um i do have um 
I have. That's neat. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Rachel's getting at... caught up. Oh, shit. I was looking at this thing and it's given me in, in this like magical random whatever thing. It's given me two sunblades. And three trident to fish command. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's, it's cool. Aquaman. Oh my god! It's oh, full on Aquaman. So Can I have the trident? It's a magic weapon. It has three charges. While you carry it, you can use an action and expend one charge to cast Dominate Beast. Oh. Uh, from it on a beast that has an innate swimming speed. And then it regains 1d3 expended charges at dawn. DC isn't bad either. It's DC 15. Wow. Uh, yeah, so Maybe. she'll say, fuck it, why not? Gave me three of them. I guess it wants you to have a trident to fucking fish command. <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> I can't even use a trident. But that's fine. <laughs> Carry it and cast Dominate Beast. Just be like, oh, that's literally oh. all I'm going to use it for. <laughs> We make good monetary decisions as a party. Like we really <laughs> invest in the magical <laughs> items that are going to be 100% oh optimized God. for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will definitely yeah. use these items later. Does anybody even have a beard? Yeah, Vir Vir Virgil, Virgil yeah, and Dunlum. Vir yeah. yeah. Dunlum's beard is actually longer than Virgil's. Virgil oh, just yeah, looks Dunlum scruffy. Dunlum does have yeah. a beard too. Yeah. Okay, I understand how things work. I can use it. I can use Ooh. martial weapons for oh, yeah. some reason. Yeah, I can use a fucking trident. Oh, yeah, really so I have, I have this trident that um, the enchanter saw fit to blessing my work by letting you control fish, and I guess other swimming creatures. Yup, saw wagon maybe. I don't beast. think beast. Uh, yeah, I don't beast. Think yeah, beast. But Damn. hey, that sounds Sharks. pretty cool. You mind let me have a look at one of them? Yeah, here you go. She hands you one. Uh, I've also got a shield, a plus one shield. I've got... I was going to say, I feel like Virgil's eyes instantly slide towards Dunlum. That might... Um, with the whole... Biting. <laughs> maybe just... <laughs> I like how you're just trying to be nice and quiet about it. Like, maybe <coughs> you just want to protect yourself a little bit. Or... Uh... <laughs> Um, I've also got a chain shirt. It's a plus one armor. And I have a, a crossbow. Ooh. I'd that is a plus one too. heavy crossbow. Oh, Jesus. The heavy, oh, heavy crossbow? crossbow? I, don't, I don't think I can wield one of them. Yeah, you're small, it's not right? simple. It's martial, yeah, but there's mm, something about... It's a heavy weapon. It's the heavy property. Yeah. Item. I think technically I'm meant to be a medium creature. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Uh. I mean, if you wanted to, um, pay me to make you something for later, I could always do that. These are just what I have on hand right now. Sorry, I, I, I was suddenly like, how big are Grung? Small. Oh, are they? Oh, I was like, mind. you're describing yourself as two feet tall. I know that like D&D is real fond of being like, but we're going to treat you like you're this other size. I'm like, you are the size of a house cat. Yeah. <laughs> Calling that medium is a stretch. Being like yeah, that yeah, and this be human. Response to, like same. medium but small but not medium. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. yeah, I can't have the... Um, what kind of enchantments does your friend typically work with? I'm just going to say that while it's certainly very interesting, I'm not sure in my particular line of work I need a great sort of fish control, for example. Oh, yeah, that's that's fair. He just really likes fish control. He's a he's a strange one. But he can do other <laughs> things. You that know, depending on me. how much you're willing to spend. It's thousands and thousands of gold to do some more beefy things. Why did I say beefy again? <laughs> Virgil's like spreading. It's every merchant. It is a disease. I was like, I'm sorry. I saw that big hunk of ground beef around your head, and I just got distracted. 
Um, yes, uh, if you wanted it to do elemental damage or other things like that, that would cost a lot more gold. Talking to fish is not too difficult. Um... Yes. And Virgil's going to sort of, I think, think about it if Dunlum wants to have a transaction uh, with her or Ooh. we want to finish up what the trident is, etc. I'm, I'm assuming that there's not just prices on them. So Dunlum just kind of asks, uh, how much for the uh, f fish, fish talking tridents and shield? Not that the shield is fish talking, but, you, you know, <laughs> those two. Oh, yeah, I don't have a fish talking shield. That's a, that's a good point. Um, the shield is two hundred and fifty gold sold, and the trident. Poof, the trident is five hundred. Okay, you uh, you got any studded leather? What's her What's her name again? Mafira. Mafira. Any studded leather, Mafira? Just regular, unenchanted studded leather. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna do about as good, uh, as much good as the, the chainmail or shirt or whatever it was. Yeah, I do. That one actually does have a price, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yes. I don't have my fucking player's handbook on 40, me. 45 gold. There you go. So what's a chain shirt? Chain shirt, there it is. 13. Uh, and this is a yeah, the chain uh, shirt that she has here is a plus one armor as well. So yeah. it's, a, it's a plus one armor. But even with that, if I take medium armor, I lose two AC. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And you, also, and you also have disadvantage <clears throat> on stealth with chain. Yeah, and it would be bad. So yeah, so it was 500... And then 45. Um, how about uh, 500 for the the very cool trident that I'm very excited about and the studded leather. Just the plain old non-enchanted studded leather. Yeah, give me a persuasion check. She's just trying to nickel and dime me here. It's only 45 gold. I know. Uh, persuasion. <sighs> I haven't used my stone yet if I need it. Oh, no. It's a 19. Uh, all right. You guys have been fairly good customers these past few weeks, so that sounds good. It's yours. Excellent. Thank you very much. You don't have any uh, bows, do you? I have a regular bow. Just a regular long bow. Nothing, Nothing magic. I could look... Uh, hold on. Let me... Let me... Let me look and see something in the back. And she goes in the back for a bit. And uh, she comes out um, with a quiver. And it's full of 20 arrows. And she says, we don't have we don't have anything fancy in longbows. Again, I could make it and have it enchanted for you at some point if you want. But we do have these. These are we just have 20 of them. There's 20 arrows and they're plus one. Ooh, that would be cool. Uh, how uh, how much for those? These is a, probably another two hundred and fifty gold. Ooh, that's pretty steep. Yeah, it's mm. to, to make each one of these individual arrows and enchant it is a lot of time. Yeah, I understand that. It's only it's only one extra though, uh, and there's only twenty of them. I, I think I'll pass on the on the arrows, but I'll definitely take the trident and the, the leather if that's okay. Alright. They're yours. Thank you very much. Are there actually three tridents? Or were you no. jumping around with them? Okay. <laughs> the thing sure. that the thing that I pull my stuff from yeah, gave yeah. me three tridents and I was just like, really? Three of the exact same trident? Oh <sighs> you done them one as well. Shit. I thought you were looking at the shield. Uh, I? Yeah, I, 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 I did straight up 
buy the shield. I removed yeah. the gold from my inventory. I did. I did enjoy the like. Yep. Nope. Good. Don't care. Enough. <laughs> Do you have a shield of not getting bitten the fuck in half? <laughs> I know it sounds specific, but um. What are our trident stats? It's just a regular trident. Yeah. Um, did you, so did you want anything, Virgil? I don't, I don't think so for now, but thank you. Well, let me know if you want anything extra. I will. And, uh, if you guys wanted to finish out doing anything final, I would say that, you know, we could wrap up the shopping day and stuff and. If uh, we wanted to do any last things before we finished up with it, I, I, um, yeah, I just, the one little thing I wanted, I, yeah, yeah. I wanted to maybe try to pick up that blow dart that was mentioned, the blowgun. Oh, yeah, because I totally didn't reload that fucking page and I still have it here and ready. It was the blowgun of plus one, I think. Uh huh. Um, and then I wanted to, uh, so when I meet the, up, I don't know, 100 gold, sure. Fuck Beautiful. It. Great. Yeah. Easy peasy. Um, and then uh, I'm going to get like 500 gold pieces worth of really nice inks and papers. Yeah. If that's you all. You do cool. that at Winston's before you leave. And then uh, I'm good shopping. I just want to do one last thing at a tavern with Gunk. Yeah. So you can end uh, up at the snapping line. I real quick want to shop for some uh, clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah. What would you like? Fashion. Oh, you want gloves? Fashion. Yeah, I want gloves. Anything else? <laughs> uh, I don't know, something fancy. I got some money. Something you can fancy. get like a nice uh, like embroidery on your like uh, your vest or get a little yeah. cane. Like a... That's awesome. That would be so cool. Chalice or something. <laughs> They've got a trident now. So. That's true, I guess. It's yeah, I got flashy. a cool trident. Um, yeah, I'll I'll make my vest fancier. Yeah, I would say gloves, vest, all that stuff maybe runs you ten gold. It's not super expensive or difficult. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Fancy, fancy. All right. Anybody else want anything before the tavern at the end of the night? Uh, I don't think so. If I come Sweet. up with any properties or stuff, I can just say I like sent a message to her and. Something like that. Sounds good. Then the right. tavern at the end of the night. Hurry up. <laughs> there you go. So whoever would like to ends up at the snapping line at the end of the night. Did you all have a good shopping day? What is that circling your head, Virgil? That's amazing. Oh, that's Easy. the thing I identified. The beautiful. It looks nice. Dunlum, you like undead things, right? I would hardly say like what do you mean i got you a sword for undead things it looks like a hilt it's a sword it's it, it, it are, are, are you keeping the uh the, the, the blade part somewhere no, else i don't baz explain how the sword works i don't exactly you you have to say a magic word or something in the, the light shoots out and it's a sword made of light and it's fiery bone catches to activate it's a yes the, it's a the, the worst thing activate. was a lie about the mushroom blade <laughs> that's right that's it that's yeah, what it was no, isn't it a two too though or something like but that it's a bonus action to activate and it lights up and hurts undead things and that you like <laughs> undead things so I think you like this sword but I think you would like the sword more. I mean, you do smack things quite a bit. You don't want the sword for undead things? Well, I did just get this nice shield. It would be weird to have a shield and a sword. No, it would. That'd be amazing. That's not literally, really, that's sort of oh, ideal. That's kind of what they're both for. Like that. Yeah, it actually is a versatility weapon as well. Which yeah, doesn't that mean mm -hmm. you can be one-handed? One-handed yeah, or two-handed. Yeah. It's a... It's basically any kind of blade. Like, it's either a short sword or a long sword. It can take whichever form you... I don't think Dunlum knows how to accept gifts. 
<laughs> That's the point I'm trying to make. So I feel like, like oh, no, no. very awkwardly like, oh, no, I it's fine, I'm good. I feel like Virgil is just sitting here with like the orb rotating around his head. And if, especially since I was not involved at all in the purchase or identification of it, and he is a mercenary, he's going to look down and go, holy crap, where did you get a sunblade? I went to some friend of Baz's who might not be a very good friend anymore. Um, I spoke it over. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what? anyway, Danlum, take the sword because you like undead things. Okay. And then when you find things for mushrooms, you can give me those swords, mushroom swords. Yeah, no, uh, seriously, Dunlum. Or I... like swords that make things rot? That would be awesome. I don't know if you know what that I thing is. I think that's all swords. Fair. Vir Virgil's just over here like, oh my god, why is nobody taking this seriously? <laughs> like, someone, just for the love of god, that that thing will cleave through undead like like nothing else. I, no, seriously. I, have none of you ever seen one of these before? Never before, no, I've only read about them. I just want something... It could make someone it. built like him cut people in half like I do. Pointing at, uh, Baz. <laughs> That's amazing. I just want something that makes things rot. So good. Are um, there swords of, like, necrosis or something? That'd be awesome. Probably. Yeah. I, I want that. I was gonna say, honestly, you mostly want the legendary artifacts from, like, Vecna. Very evil. <laughs> very, very <laughs> evil. Totally so awful good. Yeah. Let me just get Would some you like Vecna this artifact. severed hand? <laughs> it's little or his eye? That does bad things. This sounds strange a bit. Have you ever wanted a rainbow colored beard? Who are you talking to at the moment? Dunlum. Dunlum. Oh. I don't suppose I've ever considered it. That would be interesting. I believe it's the height of the as you as you wear pink and teal pajama shawl over your face. <laughs> I'm not very colorful. Oh yes, pardon the attire. I forgot about last night. No, no, I actually forgot about last night. What happened? I don't exactly remember either, but I did uh, get some of these gems that if you weave them into your beard, they'll just uh, sort of magically make it rainbow colored. Hmm. Isn't that fascinating? Would you like them? Sure, I'll give them a try. Excellent. You're getting better at accepting gifts. Yes. yes, here, <laughs> please. Uh, and Gunk, if you don't mind meeting me over there at the darts, please. Sure. Okay. Okay. Does someone <laughs> else want to play that? I don't. I'm not really that into darts. Oh, it's fun. It'll be fun. Now, listen, Gunk. Um, I. I think that you, among all of my friends, would understand maybe what I'm asking for. I, I, I just acquired this new blowgun. Isn't it amazing? Look, it's beautiful. It's like a straw. Um, and I'm I would be really interested in finding some really, really intense poison. I think I might be okay. quite good at You want me to using... leave the blowgun? Is that... What you oh, asking me to do? Not necessarily yours. I, I just, I, I wondered if you with your connections might be able to Rachel, okay. find yeah, I'm Rachel, just, I'm the one of sneezes happening. Rachel died. <laughs> it's Rachel. I sneezed like six times in a row. It was just, I Jeez. muted myself and just kind of <laughs> lost No, and it was totally fine. I was just I'm like, <sighs> I'm not sure it's Ooh. going to stop. And we might <laughs> want to wait in case we see her collapse. Oh, jeez. We might want to call an ambulance. <laughs> see how this goes. Just message Eric on Blizzard. <laughs> He's downstairs. Doing... Yeah. Okay. Gunk, I, I bet that you know some people that could get some very intense poison. Um, sure. In fact, I'd be so willing to bet it. I would play a game of darts right now with you. I mean, to see can, if, uh, if... If you, you know, I just can see get who you wins. poison... You don't have to bet me, Baz. Yeah, I'll do it for oh, you. Yeah, it'll be you fun. Let's play some dots. You can play dots if you want, but... Yeah, that'd be I'll, great. Yeah, sure. I'll get you some poison. I'm not... Oh, well, also very good. Very good. Um, you go first. You 
You're being weirdly defensive about this, but okay, sure. I'm excited. Is uh, it just me, or is he being weirder than normal? I am not, Virgil. I'm excited. Definitely being much weirder I was than asking normal. the other people at the table, though. I don't know oh, if you're right. on no. the left. <laughs> I, heard, I heard that all the way over here. Fair. Hang on, I'm just gonna write, get poison for Baz in my notes. Would love it. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Just like a dex check? To get your own poison? No, no, no. <laughs> Throwing darts. I was so Playing distracted. Darts. I'm just like, wait, what are we talking about? Throwing darts at that. Throwing darts. I'm proficient. Ooh. Yeah, let's do... You I can do, do dex plus uh, proficiency. It's just I'd be say... like a ranged weapon attack, basically. Right? Yeah. I'm right. proficient with darts. So that's... Nine plus that's, three, eleven. That's, yes, that's 12. not bad. That's 12. pretty good, gunk. Okay, that's yeah. pretty good. It's like it Bullseye. goes onto like the, like the, not quite the outside one, but like just like the third one over or something. And then Baz throws it, and he very obviously like, as he throws it, it just like dips slightly because he doesn't actually have that much force behind his throw, but then it kind of scoops back up. It just goes right into the bullseye. Like it's not. See you, see Winston. Lucky. That's one of Winston's thoughts. What? Dude, this is a, this is mine. I just happen to have it. I'm decent at darts, actually. Yeah, you you got it from Winston, right? I I don't remember where I got it from, Gunk. It's been so long. I've had it forever, and I Look, pluck it. Out. I'm very happy, Baz. Honestly, you you're finally starting to get some hustle to you, but. I'm glad I tell you, I already did that hustle quite a few years ago, so nobody will play darts with anyone anymore. I'm real sorry, oh. but... Oh. I mean, the next town we go to, I'll I'll help you. I'll teach you how to sure. do it. Sure. Oh, great. When it becomes Goats of Waterdeep, then uh, <laughs> then it'll be useful. I'm happy. I was going to say, yeah. at, at the table, Virgil, mm, another town. That's novel. <laughs> I still enjoy it. And I put it in my oh, pocket. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Mushroom. Lovely. All right. I so, also have this. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It did that all on That's its own. <laughs> very cool. Yes. Very creepy. Thank you. It's nice. Just, makes me think I have more friends than I do, even. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm happy for you. I'm going to go. And get that poison, boy. You have oh. fun. Uh, right now, of course, yes. Do it. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, I would spend a couple hundred at least gold on it if you need me to. So, whatever you sure. can do. Cool. Okay. Sure. So, I'm going to say that we wrap up there. And then I promise that next week we will start <laughs> on the next adventure. No dice. Called the Isle of the Abbey. Ooh. As you say, I like that I've been going with this like foggy island background for like a couple of weeks where I'm just like, nah, we ain't, nah we ain't making it. No it's sense. fine. We'll get there. The stranger First you had beckoned. to have a sleepover and Again. then you had to have a stranger fucking shopping episode. Still beckoning. Boy, does that stranger beckon. <laughs> beckon, stranger, beckon. Death? Still not a thing. Still not a thing, no. Still... <sighs> I think that will do us for tonight. And if you want to understand those references and Andy's sadness at them, uh, check out the either the podcast or the YouTube archive of Fates of Rin, in which Andy comes up with episode titles based around specific events and forgets who he's playing with. <laughs> <coughs> the Stranger Beckons got three parts. I think it did. I considered <laughs> naming if it got to a fourth one, I was going to title the episode Stranger is getting really damn tired of beckoning. Um <laughs> Yeah, uh, check us out t t uh, same place tomorrow. Uh, th so Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern for Spire, uh, where honestly picture the same vibe, but in a setting where everything is really dark and uh, you're a lot of the way there. A lot of chaos, a lot of really creepy people, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, same vibe, but sometimes then gets like super dark. Not like uh, it's a, like it's a good thing. It's really oh, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want people to think it's just like all oh, yeah. light. There's also definitely like death and and ho horribleness, and it's oh, yeah. just yeah. 
but it's super but it's good. Um, and then on Friday we have Goods and Dragons. Fates of Rain is the family will uh, deal with some Fermidian nonsense. I'm <laughs> sure it'll wait. be fine. Oh, Ooh. good. He's excited. Um, <laughs> from all of us here at Helpful Goat Gaming, be well, be safe, be kind to yourselves and to each other. Love y'all. Love you. Bye. Bye. See everyone. Bye. Bye.